The University of Texas at Arlington, UTA or UT Arlington is a public research university located in Arlington, Texas, midway between Dallas and Fort Worth. The spring 2017 campus enrollment consisted of 41,933 students making it the largest university in North Texas and fourth largest in Texas. The university is the third largest producer of college graduates in Texas and offers over 180 baccalaureate, master's, and doctoral degree programs. The Carnegie Foundation classifies UT Arlington as one of 115 universities that are R1, doctoral universities, highest research activity. The Chronicle of Higher Education named UT Arlington one of the fastest growing public research universities in the nation. The Center for World University Rankings places the university among the top 150 in the U.S. for best overall institution in 2018. The university was founded in 1895 and was in the Texas A&M University system for several decades until joining the University of Texas system in 1965. UT Arlington participates in 15 intercollegiate sports as a Division I member of the NCAA and Sun Belt Conference. UTA sports teams have been known as the Mavericks since 1971. Topic history Topic establishment 1895 to 1916. The university traces its roots back to the opening of Arlington College in September 1895. Arlington College was established as a private school for primary through secondary level students, equivalent to the modern first tenth grades. At the time, the public school system in the city of Arlington was underfunded and understaffed. Local merchant Edward Emmett Rankin organized fellow citizens of the city to donate materials and land to build a schoolhouse where the modern campus is now located. Rankin also convinced the two co principals of the public school in Arlington, Lee Morgan Hammond and William H. Trimble, to invest in and hold the same positions at Arlington College. In the first few years, between 75 and 150 students were enrolled in the college. The public school began to rent space at Arlington College, and was eventually sold to the city in 1900. The public school building became so unsafe that all of the space in Arlington College was rented for the 1901–1902 school year until the creation of the Arlington Independent School District in 1902. Although the public education system was set to improve, Arlington College was closed and the property was sold to James McCoy Carlyle. Carlisle was already established as a respected educator in the North Texas region, and he opened the Carlisle Military Academy in the fall of 1902. His program consisted of a balance between course work and military training. Enrollment increased to 150 students by 1905, and he began a large expansion of the campus. Baseball, football, basketball, and track teams were begun between 1904 to 1908. Around the same time, new barracks, a track, a gymnasium, and an indoor pool were built. The academy became known as one of the best at its level in the country. Unfortunately, enrollment did not continue to increase with the expansion in facilities and Carlisle ran into serious financial problems. Lawsuits for the mortgages on the property were filed in 1911, and Carlisle Military Academy was closed in 1913. In the fall of 1913, Henry Kirby Taylor moved from Missouri where he was president of the Northwest State Teachers College to set up another military academy called Arlington Training School. He also was required to manage the finances and campus for the property owners. By the 1914–1915 school year, the campus contained 11 buildings on 10 acres 40, square meters of land with 95 students enrolled. The school was incorporated in 1915 in order to raise funds to make improvements to the existing buildings, but more financial problems arose and another series of lawsuits were filed. Taylor left Arlington, and the property owners hired John B. Dodson to establish a third military academy for the 1916–1917 school year called Arlington Military Academy. Enrollment was apparently very low, and Arlington Military Academy closed after one year. Topic Texas A&M University System 1917 Since the turn of the 20th century, the prospects for turning the campus into a public, junior vocational college had been discussed. By 1917, the Agricultural and Mechanical College of Texas in College Station was overcrowded and had only one branch campus, Prairie View A&M. Vincent Woodbury Grubb, a lawyer and education advocate, organized Arlington officials to lobby the state legislature to create a new junior college. 
The Arlington campus was established as a branch of the Agricultural and Mechanical College of Texas and was called Grubbs Vocational College. Myron L. Williams was appointed as the first dean. Students were either enrolled in a high school or junior college program, and all men were required to be cadets. Its name changed again in 1923 to the North Texas Agricultural College Edward Everett Davis replaced Williams as dean in 1925 and held that position for 21 years. Davis worked continually to improve the quality of students, faculty, and facilities. The Great Depression resulted in major cuts to funding and a decline in students, so more general college courses were gradually introduced at NTAC instead of vocational classes. During World War II, the college trained students with a war program focus and participated in the V-12 Navy College Training Program, offered at 131 colleges and universities in 1943, which gave students a path to a Navy commission. Dean Davis appointed Ernest H. Hereford, then registrar in 1942, to the position of «Associate Dean» in 1943. Following Davis's retirement in 1946, E. H. Hereford was appointed «Dean» of NTAC in 1948. The Texas A&M system was created and Dean Ernest H. Hereford was named the first president of NTAC. The name was changed to Arlington State College in 1949 to reflect the fact that agriculture was no longer an important part of the curriculum. Efforts were begun to turn ASC into a four-year institution, but the Texas A&M administration refused to consider the idea since it was possible that ASC could grow to be larger than College Station. The growth of the city of Arlington in the 1950s led to a major expansion of ASC. The student population increased from 1,322 in 1952 to 6,528 in 1959, which led to land acquisition and construction of many buildings. Jack Wolfe was named president in 1959 as serious efforts began to make ASC a four-year college. The Texas legislature approved the four-year status on April 27, 1959. Enrollment reached 9,116 students in the fall of 1963, a larger total than the Texas A&M College Station campus. Although Texas A&M proposed a reorganization for the system to recognize ASC's growth, President James Earl Rudder resisted developing ASC into a university with graduate programs. Rudder and the Texas A&M Board of Directors, viewing ASC as a threat to the College Station campus, withheld construction funding and blocked degree development. Topic University of Texas System 1965 -present The decision by the Texas A&M University Governing Board to block development at Arlington State College led officials of the college and a number of Arlington citizens to enlist the support of Governor John Connolly and key members of the Texas Legislature to separate Arlington State College from the Texas A&M University System and to join the University of Texas System. As part of a plan that reorganized several university systems in Texas, Arlington State College officially became a part of the University of Texas system on September 1, 1965. To reflect its new membership within the UT system, the university adopted its current name in 1967. Joining the UT system was of immediate consequence. In 1966, the graduate school was established with an initial slate of six master's degrees, and new construction projects were started. The 1969 approval of the first Ph.D. program, in engineering, was a landmark event which set a precedent for other units on campus to follow. Controversy erupted in the late 1960s over the use of a rebel theme, including Confederate symbols and mock slave auctions as traditions on campus, that had been established since September 18, 1951. This was due to the desegregation of the campus following Ernest Hooper, Jerry Haynes, and Leaston Chase III threatening to sue the university in 1961 due to them rejecting their applications. After several years of efforts by President Frank Harrison to let students pick another theme, the UT system abolished the rebels. The Maverick theme was adopted after a student vote in 1971. Wendell Netterman served as acting president from 1972 to 1974 and president from 1974 to 1992. His tenure was characterized by increased growth and aspirations. In these years, the graduate student population increased from 936 to 4,200 and the overall university enrollment reached 25,135 students. Faculty research and publishing was emphasized along with the addition of doctoral programs in science, engineering, business, social work, and public and urban administration. 
The Texas Select Committee on Higher Education recognized UT Arlington as an emerging research institution in 1987. The university experienced significant enrollment gains and rapid acceleration in research under the leadership of former President James D. Spaniolo and current President Vistasp Carbari. The physical campus became much more residential in character and numerous major academic and student life buildings were added. Topic campus Topic Surroundings The 420-acre urban campus is at the southern edge of downtown Arlington, which also includes the largest branch of the public library, City Hall, Theater Arlington, Levitt Pavilion, Arlington Museum of Art, churches, and numerous types of businesses just south of the Texas and Pacific Railway Line, around which the city was established. The Barnett Shale Formation sits below the campus and has earned the university millions of dollars from natural gas production since 2008. These funds are used for scholarships, faculty recruitment, and campus infrastructure upgrades. An unnamed branch of Johnson Creek, a tributary of the Trinity River, runs along the southern portion of the campus. Cooper Street, which forms a part of Farm to Market Road 157, runs through the campus and provides access to Interstates 20 and 30. The AT&T Stadium, Globe Life Park, Texas Live, Six Flags over Texas theme parks, and International Bowling Museum are 2 miles to the northeast. Topic campus and architecture The campus is organized on the town's former street grid. The topography generally slopes to the south and east to landscaped creeks. Decades of prodigious tree planting and deliberate attention to landscape design have resulted in a shaded campus that is a pleasing pedestrian experience. Most streets in the campus core are closed and converted into pedestrian malls. The predominant east-west walk is the Second Street Mall, and the most important north-south passageway is Arlington Walk, extending from the Engineering Research Building on the north to the Science and Engineering Innovation and Research Building on the south. The oldest buildings on campus, Ransom Hall, Preston Hall, and College Hall are on the Second Street Mall and date to 1919. The architecture of these pre-World War II buildings is traditional. Later buildings from the 1960s, 70s, and 80s are typical of much campus construction of the period, modern, functional, and not especially noteworthy. An exception is the architecture building designed by the respected Dallas firm, Pratt, Box, and Henderson which forms an intimate and visit-worthy courtyard. The nursing building is noted for its unusual triangular shape. Texas Hall George Dahl, architect, is a contributing building with its front portico, and Netterman Hall is a contributing structure with its large atrium. An admirable feature of the campus is the aesthetic consistency of limestone and UTA blend brick. Metal panels have appeared in recent construction. The Central Library, designed by prominent 20th century architect George Dahl, well known contributions include Art Deco buildings at Dallas Fair Park, forms one side of a library quad which may be regarded as the heart of campus. The Central Library and Texas Hall are noteworthy examples of mid century modern design. Attention to building design and the definition of outdoor spaces is evident with the postmodern additions of the Chemistry and Physics Building Perkins Plusville, Maverick Activities Center Hughes Group with Page, Engineering Research Building ZGF Architects with Page, College Park Center HKS, Inc., and Science and Engineering Innovation and Research Building ZGF with Page. The Chemistry and Physics Building contains one of the largest and most advanced planetariums in the state. The north and east sides of campus have defined edges, being bounded by UTA Boulevard and Center Street, respectively. The south and west sides tend to blend more irregularly into the city. Cooper Street is a major artery that runs through campus and is partially depressed and spanned by three pedestrian bridges. Almost all academic buildings erected over the last three decades are on the east side of Cooper Street defined by signage as East Campus. Surface parking is pushed to the outer edges of campus, particularly south of the academic core, resulting in students getting more exercise than they may want during peak periods. Parking structures on the northeast and northwest corners of campus provide some relief. Green spaces, or outdoor rooms, have increased in recent years most notably with the creation of the Green Research Quad, the Green at College Park, a sunken courtyard at Davis Hall, and the Davis Street West Campus Edge. Located in various regions of campus are fiberglass horse statues with uniquely colored blue and orange patterns called spirit horses. The College Park District is a $160 million development completed in 2012 that significantly expanded the campus eastward. 
The district has an arena with seating for 7,000 spectators, dormitory, student apartments, retail space, an 1,800 car parking garage, a welcome center, a credit union, and a five acre park called the Green at College Park. The on campus resident population is over 5,000, creating a lively 24 7 environment. Large numbers of students live in Arlington Hall, Kalpana Chala Hall, Vandergriff Hall, West Hall, and numerous on campus apartments. The Dallas Morning News editorialized on June 23, 2012, that UTA suddenly offers a new sense of place that surprises people who haven't taken a look for a few years. Shown below are Netterman Hall, Engineering Research Building, Arlington Hall, Kappa Building, Texas Hall, Jack Wolf Hall, The Commons, and College of Business. Topic academic profile UT Arlington is classified by the Carnegie Foundation as a highest research activity institution and the only Texas institution named a next generation university by the New America Foundation for being a leader in diversity and innovation as of 2018 UT Arlington has 12 professors as fellows in the National Academy of Inventors which is the highest number of any institution in Texas and eighth highest in the nation UT Arlington leads all University of Texas system institutions in baccalaureate Baccalaureate degree production ratio. The College of Engineering offers 11 baccalaureate, 14 masters, and 9 doctoral programs. It is the third largest engineering college in Texas with over 7,000 students. The engineering faculty includes over 50 fellows in professional societies. U.S. News & World Report ranked the engineering school among the 100 best in the country. The School of Social Work offers three main academic programs, the Bachelor of Social Work BSW, the Master of Science in Social Work MSSW, and the Ph.D. in Social Work. The BSW and MSSW programs are fully accredited by the Council on Social Work Education. The College of Business is one of the largest and most comprehensive in the nation. The college ranked 128 out of 472 ranked programs in the 2018 U.S. News & World Report Best Colleges list. The part-time MBA program ranked 82 out of 470 programs and among the top 50 for public universities in the 2017 U.S. News & World Report Graduate School Rankings. The college has one of the largest executive MBA programs in China, and offers a U.S. executive MBA program that features a study trip to China. CEO Magazine ranked the Executive MBA program number one in Texas, number 16 in the nation, and number 21 in the world. The college's endowed Goolsby Leadership Academy is a highly selective cohort program for high achieving undergraduate business students and distinguished faculty. The College of Science consists of six departments biology, chemistry and biochemistry, earth and environmental sciences, mathematics, physics, and psychology. The college offers over 50 bachelor's, master's and doctoral degree programs, including fast-track programs in select departments which allow students to earn advanced degrees in a shorter period of time than traditional degree programs. The college's faculty includes members of the National Academy of Sciences and the National Academy of Inventors, as well as fellows in various professional organizations and recipients of numerous national, state and UT system teaching awards. The college's high-energy physics group is involved in ongoing experiments at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN and made major contributions to the discovery of the Higgs boson particle in 2012, working on detectors and computational data analysis. The College of Education had a 95% pass rate on the Texas State Licensure Examination during the 2014-2015 academic school year. The College of Education certification pass rates have consistently been above the state average. The College of Liberal Arts offers unique programs such as Southwestern Studies, and its Center for Mexican American Studies and Center for African American Studies offers minors in Mexican American and African American Studies respectively. UT Arlington has the only accredited architecture, urban planning, and landscape architecture programs in the North Texas region. The College of Engineering in conjunction with the Architecture Department is the first and only to offer a bachelor's degree in architectural engineering in the region as well. The Interdisciplinary Studies Program (INTS), a program under the Honors College, is one of the fastest growing programs on campus. The INTS program allows students to custom build their own program of study resulting in either a BAIS or BSIS degree. Interdisciplinary studies is a 35-year-old academic field and the 13th most popular major across the United States. 
The INTS program at UTA is the largest program of its kind in Texas. In building custom degree plans, students mix the required core components with various disciplinary components to meet the academic and professional needs of the student. The Honors College is a highly selective interdisciplinary college that caters to high-achieving undergraduate students of all majors and interests. UT Arlington's Honors College is the first of its kind in North Texas and third in Texas. Colleges and schools The university consists of eleven colleges and schools, each listed with its founding date. UTA Libraries UT Arlington Libraries have three locations, Central Library, the Architecture and Fine Arts Library, and the Science and Engineering Library. Central Library is open 24-7 during the fall and spring semesters. The library's collections includes historical collections on Texas, Mexico, the Mexican-American War, and the Greater Southwest. An extensive cartography collection holds maps and atlases of the Western Hemisphere covering five centuries. Also included is the Fort Worth Star-Telegram Photo Archives, a collection representing over 100 years of North and West Texas history. Altogether, Special Collections holds more than 30,000 volumes, 7,000 linear feet, of manuscripts and archival collections, 5,000 historical maps, 3.6 million prints and negatives, and thousands of items in other formats. Some of the library's more rare and interesting materials are available online in their digital collections. Research UT Arlington has dozens of research institutes and facilities on campus. Some notable ones include The Shimadzu Institute for Research Technologies at UT Arlington is a centralized research resource focused on providing access to instrumentation and expertise to support research in biochemistry, biology, chemistry, cognition, engineering, geoscience, material science, nanotechnology, and neuroscience. The UTA Aerodynamics Research Center is a research facility that operates under the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. UT Arlington is home of a university-based nanotechnology research facility, Nanofab Research and Teaching Facility. The Center for Amphibian and Reptile Diversity Research is one of the world's collections of specimens from Central and South America and is used by herpetology researchers from around the world. The Center for Mexican American Studies (CMAS) at the University of Texas at Arlington is an academic research center that promotes research and the recruitment, retention, and professional development of UTA faculty actively engaged in studies on Latino issues. The center hosts faculty research associates from several departments and administers a minor in Mexican American Studies. The director of the center is Dr. Christian Zalaniski from the Department of Sociology and Anthropology and the associate director is Dr. Ignacio Ruiz Perez from the Department of Modern Languages. The center was founded in 1993 by a Texas state mandate. The UT Arlington Research Institute is a research and development unit of the University of Texas at Arlington. The Center for Transportation Equity, Decisions, and Dollars is a university transportation center housed within the College of Architecture, Planning and Public Affairs. Funded through a grant from the United States Department of Transportation, CTED conducts policy research into the economic, political, and regulatory aspects of America's transportation systems. The Genomics Core Facility provides UT Arlington with one of the interdisciplinary research facilities in North Texas. The Learning Innovation and Network Knowledge Research Link Research Lab is a research laboratory. The Science, Engineering, Innovation and Research building is a six-story, 220,000-square-foot building completed in 2018 for $125 million. The SEIR building houses research laboratories and 900 teaching seats in lecture halls and classrooms. According to the university's research administration, total research expenditures for fiscal year 2017 totaled $94 million, up 11% from the previous fiscal year. Topic student life Topic Student profile UT Arlington has a student population of nearly 42,000 as of spring 2017. 
The U.S. News & World Report ranked UT Arlington fifth, fifth in the nation for achieving the most ethnically diverse undergraduate student body. Females account for about 55% of the total population. The top four countries of origin for international students are India, China, Taiwan, and Nigeria. Topic residential life The campus has seven residence halls with a total capacity of at least 5,600 students. The university also has 18 on-campus apartment complexes and a limited number of houses for students with dependent children. The seven halls are Arlington Hall, Kalpana Chala Hall, KC Hall, Lipscomb Hall North, Lipscomb Hall South, Trinity House, Vandergriff Hall at College Park, and West Hall. Topic traditions Bed races Since 1980, hundreds of students have gathered to watch teams consisting of four pushers and a rider race against each other in a race just over the length of a football field. Teams consist of student organizations, Greek organizations, and residence halls from around UT Arlington. Homecoming, paired with the beginning of basketball season in the fall, UT Arlington Homecoming features activities as diverse as the campus. Activities include several alumni events, the bash, boom at noon firing of the Carlisle Cannons, the parade, fireworks display, pep rally, and homecoming game matchups. Mav Swap, this annual tradition encourages students to trade apparel from their high school or another college for free UT Arlington gear. International Week, I Week is hosted by the International Student Organization, and branches out throughout the UT Arlington community in its entirety, celebrating diversity between cultures on campus. I Week typically includes a food fair, fashion show, global extravaganza, exhibits, and more. Mavsmeet Convocation, Mavsmeet, the new student convocation, is a formal assembly commemorating the beginning of the academic year. Students, faculty and staff are welcomed by the university president, provost, student congress president, and a distinguished UT Arlington faculty speaker. This major academic event honors all undergraduate and graduate students, but particularly new UT Arlington students. Immediately following the new student convocation, the Mavsmeet afterparty kicks off the year with live music acts, free food, games and activities. Oozeball, an annual event hosted by the Student Alumni Association and Campus Recreation to raise money for the Student Alumni Association Sophomore Scholarship. Once the amount for the scholarship is reached, all excess funds are donated to charity. In Oozeball, students play volleyball in artificial mud pits. Since its creation in 1989 in the Greek life community, Oozeball has become one of the most popular student traditions. Rubbing Hereford's Head, Dr. E. H. Hereford was chief administrator from 1946 to 58. His sculpted bust sits on a pedestal in the university center, ever since it debuted in February 1959. Superstition holds that rubbing Dr. Hereford's head gives good luck on exams. Soaping the fountain, occasionally mischievous students will pollute the main fountain at the east end of the flying bridge over Cooper Street with soap, causing it to be filled with suds and requiring it to be drained and cleaned. Less often other fountains on campus are subject to the same soap abuse. UT Arlington Marching Band, known as the Ambassadors of the University. The UT Arlington Marching Band is one of the few college marching bands in the nation to exist without a football team. The band performs annually for crowds numbering 100,000 and is featured in exhibition performances at state and local contests, such as Bands of America and Regional UIL, as well as festivals and high school and professional football games. In 2001, the band performed in exhibition at the Bands of America Grand Nationals Championship, held in Indianapolis, Indiana. The 175 student musicians in the band represent almost all academic disciplines and majors within the university. Graduation Celebration – Graduation Celebration is a formal assembly commemorating the conclusion of the academic year. This major academic event honors all undergraduate and graduate students, but particularly candidates for graduation. Greek life The fraternity and sorority community at UT Arlington consists of 31 national and local organizations with four governing councils. Traditionally, between 5 and 10 percent of undergraduate students participate within the councils. The year indicates the original charter date. Athletics <laughs> 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 
UT Arlington's athletic teams are known as the Mavericks the selection was made in 1971 and predated the Dallas Mavericks choice in 1980. UT Arlington was a charter member of the Southland Conference. UT Arlington won the Southland Conference's Commissioner's Cup three times since the award was first instituted in 1998. The Commissioner's Cup is awarded to the athletics program with the highest all-around performance in all conference events, including all men's and women's events. UT Arlington's basketball and volleyball teams play at College Park Center, which opened with a women-men basketball doubleheader on February 1, 2012. The new arena seats about 7,000 fans for sporting events and cost an estimated $78 million. Athletic director Jim Baker began work on the same date. UT Arlington became a member of the Western Athletic Conference on July 1, 2012. After a single season in the WAC, the Mavericks joined the Sun Belt Conference on July 1, 2013. The switch comes after continued shake-ups in college conference membership. Varsity sports UT Arlington fields teams or competitors in 15 NCAA Division I events, including baseball, basketball, tennis, golf, track and volleyball. Volleyball achieved the greatest team success in the history of the university by advancing to the 1989 NCAA Volleyball Final Four. The women's basketball team played in the 2005 and 2007 NCAA tournaments. The men's basketball team made its first appearance in the 2008 NCAA tournament, losing in the first round against number one seed Memphis, who was later forced to vacate this and all other wins from the 2007 2008 season. The men's basketball team earned a berth the National Invitation Tournament for the third time during the 2016–2017 season, advancing to the quarter-finals. The quarter-final run included a win at BYU and two home games at College Park Center in front of large crowds need citation. In 2011–2012, the men's team advanced to the National Invitation Tournament, falling to the Washington Huskies on their home court in a highly competitive game in the opening round. UT Arlington fielded a football team, playing out of Maverick Stadium, until it was discontinued after the 1985 season. The university administration noted major financial losses of about $1 million per year and low average attendance, 5,600. The student body at the time was 23,100. The program was funded by the university's auxiliary enterprise income while the other 14 sports were underfunded, as football accounted for half the total athletic budget. Discussions take place periodically about restarting football but have not gained traction as an institutional priority. UTA Cheer UTA's small co-ed cheerleading team has become a perennial power in Division I competitive cheerleading. The team has been crowned National Cheerleaders Association Collegiate National Champions in 2010, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Topic sports rivalries The Texas State Bobcats, from a Central Texas peer institution, are a primary in-conference rival dating back to 1987 with concurrent memberships in three different conferences. As of the conclusion of the 2016–2017 seasons, UTA leads the all-time series in men's basketball 36 to 33, volleyball 42 to 35, softball 61 to 59, and football 2 to 0, and the Bobcats lead in women's basketball 31 to 39, and baseball 43 to 66. UTA also maintains a relatively heated non-conference rivalry with the University of North Texas Mean Green. Periodic sporting events between the two are among the best attended for each team. The longest standing sport rivalry is men's basketball, which began in 1925. One of UTA's most anticipated baseball rivalries is with the TCU Horn Frogs. The two Tarrant County teams play annually in games that generate high attendance from both universities. 4015 saw the UTA TCU matchup at Globe Life Park in Arlington in 2013. Five of the top nine most attended games at Clay Gould Ballpark feature TCU as the visiting team. With UTA beginning Sun Belt membership in 2013, conference rivalries were resumed with the Arkansas State Red Wolves, Louisiana Lafayette Ragon Cajuns, and Louisiana Monroe Warhawks, who were all members of the Southland Conference at various points during UTA's tenure. 
Topic Notable people Topic University leaders Presidents, deans, and other heads of UT Arlington and its predecessor institutions, Lee Morgan Hammond and William H. Trimble, co-principals, Arlington College, 1895–1902 James McCoy Carlyle, Chief Administrator, Carlyle Military Academy, 1902–1913 Henry Kirby Taylor, Chief Administrator, Arlington Training School, 1913–1916 John B. Dodson, Chief Administrator, Arlington Military Academy, 1916–1917 Myron L. Williams, Dean, Grubbs Vocational College, 1917–1923 Edward Everett Davis, Dean, North Texas Agricultural College, 1923–1946 Ernest H. Hereford, Ph.D., Dean, North Texas Agricultural College, 1946–1948 Ernest H. Hereford, Ph.D., President, Arlington State College 1948–1958 Jack R. Wolfe, Ph.D., President, ASC and UT Arlington, 1959–1968 Frank Harrison, Ph.D., President, UT Arlington, 1968–1972 Wendell Metterman, Ph.D., President, UT Arlington, 1972–1992 Ryan C. Amaker, Ph.D., President, UT Arlington, 1992–1992 1995 Robert E. Witt, Ph.D., President, UT Arlington, 1995 2003 Charles A. Sorber, Ph.D., Interim President, UT Arlington, 2003 2004 James D. Spaniolo, MPA, J.D., President, UT Arlington, 2004 2013 Vistast Carbari, Ph.D., President, UT Arlington, 2013 Present Topic Former students, alumni, alumni Pat Choate, American economist, known for being the 1996 Reform Party candidate for Vice President, FEC certified the Reform Party eligible historic first, and graduate of the University of Oklahoma with a Ph.D. Doug Russell swimmer, Olympic champion, and former world record holder in three different events. Kalpana Chawla, the first Indian American astronaut and first Indian woman in space. Robert L. Stewart, astronaut, the first active duty U.S. Army soldier to make a spaceflight. R. Byron Pipes, educator, researcher in polymer sciences and the 17th president of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Waited Cruzado, educator, the 12th president of Montana State University. Roland G. Fryer, Jr., educator, professor of economics at Harvard University. Lou Diamond Phillips, actor and director. Topic see also Maverick Speakers Series, UT Arlington's on-campus Distinguished Lecture Series College Park Center, UT Arlington's on-campus Special Events Center Texas Hall, UT Arlington's on-campus Performing Events Center The Shorthorn, UT Arlington's Daily Student Run Paper UTA Radio, UT Arlington's Student Run Radio Station Topic Notes Topic References Mavericks branded by Aisha Gaines, The Shorthorn, February 15, 2006, retrieved February 16, 2006. Mavericks branded by Tracy Morales, The Shorthorn, February 15, 2006, retrieved February 16, 2006. Q&A with University President James Spaniolo on what is a Maverick launch event. UT Arlington unveils new logo by Patrick McGee, Star-Telegram, February 15, 2006, retrieved February 16, 2006. External links. Official website Texas Arlington Athletics website